shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered, and the yeah. Lord has said, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Amen. So give us some time. But God, God's working some things out. Because he said afterward. Amen. You've been going through some things, but afterward, after you've been through what God has allowed you to go through, you will come through. Amen. 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 You want to come through it, and God will be glorified. Amen. Now, now, so he lets us know a suddenly. Amen. Uh, suddenlies are on the horizon of your life. Yes. So let's go to the New Testament now. And we're going to look in the book of Acts. Amen. Let's go to the book of Acts. God always has, amen, a plan for his people. Yes. But a lot of times we get in a hurry. And I found out, amen, that haste, indeed, like um, I think it was Benjamin Franklin said, when haste, that's right, it makes waste. Amen. And so if you could just be patient and wait on the Lord. Lead not, what, to thine own understanding, and what? In all thy ways, do what? Acknowledge him. And when I say acknowledge, I mean to, to take notice, what is God saying? Amen. What is God up to? Because if you go ahead of God, sometimes you can move too fast, and, and amen, you can either mess things up or miss your appropriate time. And when God was moving, it's always perfect. Amen? And, and so uh, in the book of Acts, where. The apostles, amen, the disciples of Jesus Christ are gathered together. This is after his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Now, they're in a hurry to get to see the next thing that God is going to do. Because they've gone through great tribulation, haven't they? Persecution. Christ was dead, had, had died, he was buried, and yet he had raised from the dead. And they're waiting. And I, I don't know about you, when God is moving, you, there's an anticipation. Hallelujah. Um, now, I, I can sense that God is up to something. Mm -hmm. And so they ask him this question. First of all, let's label down what he says to them in that sixth verse. He said, when they, when, when they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore? Amen. Restore again. Now, we just talked about the word restoration. Mm -hmm. But they're asking him, at this time, will you restore? Mm -hmm. Amen. The, uh, Israel. They want to know, is Israel going to be a kingdom right now? Are you going to restore, amen, the kingdom to Israel? Yeah. And anytime God is about to do something great, amen, again, we anticipate that he's up to something. And so they ask him the question, are, are you going to do this? Are, are, is it time now? Are we getting ready to sit on the throne to your right and your left? Because they have their own agenda. And many times, if we're not careful, we can have our own agendas. But remember, we want to be always uh, in agreement with the will of God, yes. purposes of God, mm -hmm. because God's assignment is attached for your life mm -hmm. is attached to His will yes. and His agenda, right. not our own. Okay. Somebody say, not our own. Not, not our, our own. own. Amen. And so, and He said, "It's not for you to know All right. the times or the season which the Father put in His own power." Mm -hmm. In other words, this is a God thing. This ain't a denominational thing. All right. This ain't just a church thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This ain't just a human thing, mm -hmm. amen, because if God getting ready to do something, it's going to affect the whole world, amen. God's plan, amen, is a global plan. Our might be just a little local plan, but amen. 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 But you shall receive power Hallelujah. after that which the Holy yes. Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be yes. witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem yes. and in Judea and Samaria and to the othermost parts of the earth. Mm -hmm. So now we know that we just read that in the book of Joel. That they're going to receive power. Yeah. And so again, give God some time. Amen. Amen. Give us some time for God to do what he said he's going to do. So let's go to the second chapter of Acts. And look what it says here. Talked about time stamping. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Fully come. Hallelujah. Somebody say fully come. Fully come. They were all with one accord mm -hmm. in one place. Because mm -hmm. you're gathering together of God. Uh, your pla the place where you are. Is just as important, amen, as who you are. Amen. And I'm going to say that because sometimes we can be the right person or the right person can, amen, be around, but if they're in the wrong place, have you picked up every pick, tried to pick up somebody and say, where are you? And I thought you told me to meet you at, let's just say Walmart. Yeah. I'm here, I'm waiting for you. And they said, no, I didn't say Walmart, I said Walgreens. It's the right person. Mm -hmm. You call the right number, but they're in the wrong place. Anybody get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when God calls us, 
He calls us to a place. He calls us to a people. He calls us to a purpose. He calls us to a mission. Amen. Is that right? Hallelujah. And so, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with what? One accord. And that's significant. That's very significant. They weren't divided. There were no malice going on. Folks weren't clowning and strife and arguing and fighting because the Holy Ghost is gentle. Amen. But they were all in one accord. Amen. In one place. And there's that timestamp word again. And suddenly. Amen. The thing that Joel prophesied. Hallelujah. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a what? A rushing mighty wind. It's almost as if God is accelerating. Yeah. So the, the wind came in a rushing wind. The wind came in, a, in the fullness of time. It's like God said, I'm in a hurry to move right now. And I, I want to just suggest to you, some of you, God is in a hurry to move. God is in a hurry, not you. Don't you get in a hurry. Because like the song said, you can't hurry God, but when God gets in a hurry, there comes a suddenly. Amen? There, there comes a suddenly when God gets in a hurry because he knows the time and the season. Amen. It came like a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. This was 50 days after the resurrection. And it's called Pentecost. Amen. Hallelujah. And look what it said. And while and while they, the, the Holy Ghost sat upon them, because it said where they were sitting, there appeared unto them clothing tongues, yeah. like as a fire. It sat upon each of them. They were all filled mm -hmm. with the Holy Ghost, yeah. began to speak yeah. with other tongues, Hallelujah. as the Spirit gave them the utterance. Yeah. Amen. And there were dwelling there Jews and people from all over that area. Why? Because at this particular time, the Lord knew that amen at Pentecost, mm -hmm. they were going to be gathered. He knew that at Pentecost, there were going to be a whole bunch of people that were going to hear the word of God. Yeah. That at that particular place, that look, all the, look at the kind of people that were there. Okay. Let's take a look at those that were present. And have they been, because again, God calls us to a people. Mm -hmm. He calls us to a place. Mm -hmm. He calls us to ministry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he calls us to be a witness. Yeah. Yeah. And when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and they were confounded because that they heard every man speak in his own language. Yeah. They were all amazed. They marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? How can we hear every man in our own tongue where we were born? Well, there were Parthenians, the Medes, the Amalekites, the dwellers in Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia, Phygria, Palamophilia, Amen. Even Egypt was there. Amen. Parts of Libya, Cyrene, strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, yeah. Greeks, Greeks rather, and Arabians. We do hear them speak mm -hmm. in our tongues the wonderful works of God. Mm -hmm. And they were all amazed. Yeah. And they were in doubt saying one to another, what mean is this? Mm -hmm. Say it with me again. Give us some time. Give, Give us some time. time. They, they have to figure out what, what does this mean? Amen. But the, God... God's going to make sure that they understand what this means. Uh -huh. So they were all amazed. What, what mean is this? Others might have said, these men are just full of new wine. But Peter, hallelujah, hallelujah. Peter's going to explain it now. Yes. Because see, sometimes you don't understand what God is doing. Amen. But when Daniel, amen, was praying for 21 days, I, I submit to you, Gabriel came and let uh, Daniel know, listen, but the, when you first decided to start fasting and praying, to understand my will, the will of God, I was on my way, but I had to, I had to deal with an issue, amen. Sometimes your blessing, amen, is held up because there's some demonic activity going on. So Gabriel had to tell Michael, uh, you know, God had to send Michael, rather, to deal with that demonic uh, uh, principality from Grisha, amen, so that Gabriel can continue on to his assignment. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, Daniel was in the same, is the place where he's supposed to be. Now, what if Daniel would have got bored and said, or tired and just say, I'm just going to go somewhere and sit down. No, the angel knew where Daniel was. Yeah. Daniel was where he's supposed to be. Gabriel came, delivered the message, and said, now I'm going to help you understand what God's about to do for your people. Yeah. I submit to you, God is about to let you understand 
Why have you gone through what you've gone through in the last few years? What thing has God been working on in the inside of you that you can't figure out? Why do you have certain thoughts that seem to go in a certain direction? Why do you feel such a hunger and thirst to win souls for the Lord right now? Why are you, amen, sometimes going through with your family, just trying to get them saved? Because God is up to something. But give us some time. Give us some time. Don't quit. Just give us some time. Amen. And so here he is. And he preaches, amen, and makes him understand. But this is that. Somebody said, this is that. This, this is, that. is that. He said, they're not drunk as you suppose. Hallelujah. It's but the third hour of the day. Yes. The bars ain't even open. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Yes. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass. Yes. See, every time you see it come to pass, that means that's what God was planning on doing all the time. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody shout yes. glory. Yes. glory. And it shall come to pass in the last days. Yes. Time yes. stamp it, y'all. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit, amen, upon all flesh. Yeah. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Amen. Young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams and all my servants. The same thing Joel prophesied, Peter is preaching. Yeah. Amen. And upon my handmaids, I'll pour out in those days of my spirit. They shall prophesy right. and show wonders in heaven mm -hmm. above and signs on the earth beneath, yeah. blood and fire. He's quoting the same yeah. prophetic word that Joel prophesied. Now let me tell you something. God watches over his what? Word. Does, what does he do with it? To perform. He places his name above his word. He yes. honors his word. Is that right? Yes. And he honors his name. His name, amen, makes sure that his word is in line with his will. Yes. Now, hallelujah. Look, look what he says here in the 21st verse. And it shall come to pass. Amen. That whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes. Amen. Yes. And, and so, yes. so what, what happened? The Bible makes it plain that nearly 3,000 men uh -huh. gave their life to the Lord because of that message. Yeah. That was the message that he preached that day, that sermon, that, that sermon, and look what it says, look at the 40, amen, come on and look at, the, well, let's start at the 39th verse, and it said, for the promise is unto you and to your children, yeah. amen, and to all that are far off even as many as the Lord shall call. And many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, save yourself from this untoward generation. Yes. Then they that gladly receive what? His, His word. word. See, that word came with a time, uh, a destination. It came with an assignment. And many times that word, that, that rhema word that God sends to you, wait on God, amen, give us some time to work, because God's going to fulfill it, what? In His time. In His time. Amen. And that same day, there were added unto them, what? About 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in many prayers. And fear came upon every soul. Many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And they all believed, amen, and all that they believed were together and had all things common. They're praising and magnifying God, magnifying God. So there's a time of grace. So let's go to Acts the 17th chapter. Let's stay there for a minute. Amen. Acts the 17th chapter. We're almost done. Glory to God. Because this is first Sunday communion. And I hope a God be y'all that are listening at home. Amen. Amen. Get your elements ready. Because we're going to do communion in about 15 minutes. So let's see what happens here. So in Acts the 17th chapter. Now we talked about, hey man, that God has a time of grace. He also has a time of redemption. Amen. And so let's take a look here in what he's about to do in the 17th chapter through the Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. So the Apostle Paul, amen, ministering the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel. As a matter of fact, Paul called it his gospel. Yeah. And he's seeing these people, amen, in, uh, as he's there preaching at Berea. Uh, there are people that were, amen, up there um, philosophizing. And Paul being grieved in the spirit, it says, let's look at that 17th verse. Therefore, he was disputing with, in the synagogue with the Jews and with devout persons and the market daily with them that met with him. Well, he ran into this group of philosophers. Mm -hmm. I submit to you today, there's philosophers all over the place. Mm -hmm. Social media has its philosophy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. TikTok has its philosophy. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram has its philosophy. Mm -hmm. Facebook has a philosophy. Yeah. Come on, somebody else. Is something else? LinkedIn. Is LinkedIn. All of these different platforms have their own philosophy. Yeah. And so Paul is getting ready to 
go into, amen, the midst of a people mm -hmm. that have all kinds of different world views and yeah. philosophies. Yeah. When it comes to the gospel, mm -hmm. we have a world view. That's Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. For God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. That's our world view. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's our world view. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. He died for your sins and mine. So Paul is getting ready to talk to these people. But look what he says here in that 18 verse. Then certain of the philosophers and the Epicureans and all the Stoics encountered him. And they said, what will this babbler say? Other some seem to be a set forth of strange gods because he preached unto them Jesus and the resurrection. They had never heard about a man uh, being, amen, killed and dying and being buried and rising up three days later. It was, it, it was mind-blowing. And they took him and they brought him into Arab Pagus saying, May we know what this new doctrine mm -hmm. is, whereof thou speak. Mm -hmm. and, and so then Paul dropped down with me uh, to the 22nd verse. Mm -hmm. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill, since they asked. Mm -hmm. Amen. Paul was more than ready to deliver. Yes. That's what I'm saying about your ministry. Be ready to deliver. Because yes. it's coming. All right. Get All ready. Right. It's yeah. coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And said, ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you're too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotion, I found an altar with this inscription, to the unknown God, whom therefore you infinitely worship him, declare I unto you. Now, God that made the world, amen, and all things therein, remember, for every purpose, there's a season. God made the world. He had a purpose. He made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of what? All heaven and, and earth. earth. He dwelleth not in the temples made with hands, mm -hmm. neither is he worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything. Mm -hmm. For every, seeing he giveth all life and breath and what? All I things. Think, think. And he hath made one blood of all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and have determined what? The time. Somebody say, give us some time. See, God determines your time. God determines your deliverance. God determines your healing. God determines your all that you got, your whatever that is that you your business, your success, your family salvation. Amen. Your ministry. When you get that new building, or whatever it is you believe in God for, God determines the time. Amen. Amen. Before appointed. Amen. Determine the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation which talks about their place, mm -hmm. that they should seek the Lord if happily, that they might feel after him. Yes. And if you feel after him, you're going to find him. Yes. Draw nigh to God. Hallelujah. And what? God will draw nigh to you. Hallelujah. Is that right? He said, he'll abide in me. Yes. Amen. My word abide in you. Yes. Ask what you will and it shall be done. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And so look what he said. Though he be not far from every one of us. Yes. For in him we what? We, we, we do what? Live. We live. And remember, Jesus said, I've come that you might have what? Life. And have it what? More More life. Life. And, and so we live and we move on. Amen. He gives us the unction to function. Yes. He gives us the energy we need. He gives us the help we need. Amen. The grace yes. that we need. Because yes. it's a time. God's grace is forever with us. Hallelujah. Yes. And he said, and, our, and we have our being. Yes. You are a being, a human being. Be made in the image and likeness of our God. Yes. And a certain of your own poets have said, we are also his what? Offspring. offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, yes. we ought not to think of our uh, that the Godhead is like unto gold mm -hmm. or silver or stone or graven by art or man's device. Mm -hmm. For at these, at these times, look at, take a look at it. Yes. At the times of this ignorance, God mm -hmm. winked at it. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. He winked at it for a time. Yes, he did. But now he commanded all men everywhere to repent all because right. he had what? Yeah. Appointed a what? A day. A day. Mm -hmm. He stamped, he, he tied stamped a day. We're going to go to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. In which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he have ordained, whereof he have given assurance unto all men, and that he raised him from the dead. Yeah. Talking about, again, yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. our Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeah. Amen. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked. Others said, we will hear thee again of this matter. But guess what? How be it some men claimed, because that was their time, to receive grace. Mm -hmm. It was a time of grace for them. Is that right? Because yeah. they received the word of God, the gospel, the good news, mm -hmm. 
They claim unto him, and guess what? And believe. And believe. How can they believe in whom they have not heard? How can they hear unless he's a preacher? How can he preach unless he's sick? This is a time of great grace. Yeah. And among them was Dionysus, the Afro guy, and a woman named Demaris and other with him. Glory to God. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, give us some time. Give us some time. Well, let's finish. Let's go to the book of Galatians. We're going to finish there. Amen. So God has an appointed time that he's blessing your life and bringing the past that what he's promised unto you. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Amen. Don't get weary and well-doing. Because you got a reaping coming. Amen. You got a harvest. Amen. All There's right. a blessing assigned to you. Amen. God's goodness is. Hey, listen, let me, let me tell you. God already knows. Amen. Amen. And clarity will always give you understanding of what God. And God will give you the clarity to trust Him, to wait on Him, and to believe upon Him. So in Galatians, the fourth chapter, when you're there, say, I'm there. I'm there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, I say that an heir, as long as he is a child, he differed nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all, because he can't handle nothing. He's still growing. He's still understanding. He don't, he, you can't give him the keys to the car when he's a child, because he don't know what to do with all that power. Right. Amen. Okay. He, he has some authority, but he don't have all the authority, because he has not matured into it. Mm. But as he grows, look what it said, but he's under tutors and governors until the time, until what? The time, the time appointed mm -hmm. of the father. Yeah. So God has an appointed time. Somebody say an appointed time. An appointed Somebody time. Somebody say a divine timing. A divine, divine timing. Amen. Of the Father. Even so, when we were children, we're in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of time, the fullness of time. was come. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. When yes. God's fullness, in the mm -hmm. fullness of time, yes. the Holy Ghost came. In the fullness of time, yes. amen, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, Made under the law. And what was his assignment? What was his purpose? What was, why did the Son of God come? What, what, why was he manifested? Not just only to defeat the works of the enemy. Amen. To destroy Satan's work. But look what it said. To redeem. Amen. Them that were under the law. It was a time of redemption. That we might receive the adoption of sons. And because you are sons. You're sons of God. Yes. And maybe remember what the word of God said, as many as led by the Spirit, they're the sons of God. Yes. Amen. And beloved, I, you know, we don't know what we, mm -hmm. listen, let me tell you something. There are times that you don't always understand why God is working in your life because he's working with you as a son yes. or as a child of God. Yes. He's yes. not working. Sometimes you want to stay in that baby stage or in that immature stage. God said, no. Amen. Grow up now. Yes. I'm going to start dealing with you like you are a son now. Yes. A son with responsibility. Mm -hmm. A son with accountability. A son that I have assigned you to do something, and I'm expecting you to carry out my orders. Yes. And I don't want you to be no baby crying because it's going to hurt. Yes. Because right. somebody's going to cuss you out. Yes. Because folks will. That don't mean that everybody's going to like you. You ain't going to be the cat's meow. Right. But if I've gave you an assignment to carry out mm -hmm. the mission and the ministry I've given you, don't I'm right. expecting you to stand and deliver. Somebody say stand and deliver. Stand and deliver. deliver. Amen. So to redeem them that were under the law, that he might receive the adoption of sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son yes. in your hearts. Yes. Crying. Yes. Abba Father. Abba Father. Wherefore thou art no more servant, but a son. And if a son, yes. then an heir of God through Christ. You. Amen. You are now an heir of God through Christ. And so since you are an heir of God through Christ, amen, you have received grace mm -hmm. for grace. Yes. You have been redeemed. Amen. Amen. We've been saved by faith through grace. It's the gift of God, not of works. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because somebody's going to have to boast about it. Okay. Because God's going to do what he said he's going to do. Yes. Yes. Just give him some time. Amen. 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 Give it time. Because what did the book of James tell us concerning, amen, patience? It said, let, but let patient have what? Her perfect, her perfect, work. Her perfect what? Work. That you might be what? Entire. Entire, Man. wanting, or Man. lacking Man. nothing. Man. So God is developing you. His grace is upon you and with you. Yeah. He's going to sustain you. Yeah. Perfect those things concerning you. Yeah. He's going to fulfill his will. Yeah. And in the, in the final analysis, guess what? He's going to make all things yeah. beautiful yeah. in his time. Come on, get my praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. We thank God. So, Agape, saints and friends that are watching, 
I hope those of you are going to join us for communion. This is first Sunday. I hope you get your grape juice and your element, your crack or your bread. Amen. As we get ready, amen, to bless the Lord. And remember, remember, oh, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Amen, amen. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It must not suffer long. Come on, say it with me again. Oh, the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, it must and thanking you for your manifold grace and your tender mercies because Lord you saved us and you said in your word unless we eat of your flesh and drink of your blood we have no life but Lord your, your flesh your word is meat indeed and your blood is drink indeed and you told us let us examine ourselves and so let us eat of that bread and drink of that cup and so Lord we, we forgive Anyone that may have offended us, we bless our yes. we bless our loved ones and our family. We ask that you, Amen. Consider them today, and ask that you just strengthen people. Some some may be suffering right now with coronavirus, but your flesh is healing. Your word is healing, and so we thank you for that, Lord God. Healing in your name. So let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that flesh, eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. And so as often as you do it, you said you do it in remembrance of you. And so the day that you, amen, served, you said, take this bread, for this is my body, which is given for you. Take and eat all of it. And when he took the cup of the New Testament, he said, this is a new cup, this cup testament in my blood. This do ye is an often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it. And I know it was the blood. And I know it was the blood. And I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. For I know it was the blood for me. Oh, it was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood for me. And one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. So, Almighty and Eternal God, we thank you. We thank you for this communion. 
And every opportunity we do it because, Lord, you said as often as we do it, we remember you. And we give you praise for all that you've done. And for your mighty, oh God, your mighty healing virtue in our life. Touch us now, strengthen us. Father, I pray healing in our whole shop. That even someone listening today, God in your shop, with your stripes, we are and we were healed. For you are wounded for our transgression. You are bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And with your stripes, we are healed. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say he makes all things beautiful. In this time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, let's wait on the saints. Amen. What you're struggling with, it's going to be it's in God's hand. He has determined your times. But let's just wait on him. Well, let's get ready to, uh, amen, get ready to let you go. I want you to know that God loves you. He cares about you. I declare that, amen, that the blessings of the Lord make up rich and add up no sorrow. And as I said before, until, until we meet again, the joy of the Lord is indeed your strength. Be blessed. Amen.